So here's a comparison of the equalizer power pump. Runs constantly to maintain vacuum. For some reason they didn't put any electronics in it to shut it off when it reaches peak vacuum. And it has, also has no way to know how much battery life is in it. So you could be using it and all of a sudden the red flashing comes on and you need to charge it. So about these cheap $25 vacuum pumps. And they look cheap uh, on eBay. Let's see what it'll do. So another thing this doesn't do is it doesn't shut off by itself. So once in a while when you're not paying attention you take it off the windshield and you set it in the rack and 10-15 minutes later you walk by and it's still running because this thing knows nothing. This thing knows it's off. It gives you battery. So on a one to nine scale, it tells you, I don't know if that shows up in the video. Didn't really show it very good, my lights are overpowering it. It says P9, so it's fully charged. And turn it on. Let's see if that power pump had to suck down. Let's see another feature of this. Hold in. So not only does it shut off, not only does it show the amount of vacuum in it, so it gives you a reading. When the vacuum drops a little, it will kick back on. That might be 10 minutes, 20, it might be a day. It just stays on the whole time there's vacuum. And the other nice thing is when you release it, it will shut off by itself. These are so much better than the equalizer version. The, the equalizers, I think, now are over $200. And if the prices were reversed, and I had tried both, I would be buying those for $200, not equalizer. 